guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before so today we're testing out Shein fidget toys I bought a whole bunch of fidget toys off of Shein and we're gonna test them out and see if they're worth the money now each of these was like basically a dollar or two I'll tell you as we go but I feel like they're gonna be at least a little bit worth it okay so I did not pick the color on I think almost any of these they were all like random colors so if there's anything ugly in here, it's not my fault. Okay, we've got these little like candy fidget pop toys. How many is in there? There's only supposed to be two. These were 250. They didn't have multiple colors on there, so this should just be like the only colors that they come in is blue and purple in a set of two. And they're both individually wrapped. It seems like a waste, but okay. Can you guys see there's like a little, like, there's like a little bow. Okay, I like this. Yeah, I, I don't know about the keychain part, but it's really cute, and there's a little bow on it, and it has a really nice pop sound. I'm down. $2.50 for these, I am down. Okay, this one also has a little bow on it. Let me see if they're different. <gasps> okay, they're different. This one's a softer one. I don't even like. Okay, that's that's really fun. Um, I'm really excited about this. These are probably gonna come to work with me because I've been playing with little poppets at work when I'm bored. And I think these are going to come to work with me. I'm going to give these like a 10 out of 10. Those are really nice. I don't know about this one. I don't even know what these are called. Okay, this is the Stress Relief Snapper. This is $2. And I think it only comes in rainbow. Which is fine. A lot of my fidget toys are rainbow. Yeah, I don't know. I've avoided getting these before. Oh, it's really like stiff. It's like an arm workout. I'm not sure about this one. The noise is kind of harsh. I'm not, I don't know. I'll give this one like a five. The noise is harsh. I don't like that. It's not relaxing. Okay, another little popper toy. This one does not come with, oh wait, it does come with a chain. I was like, it doesn't come with a chain on it. Yes, it does. Um, okay, so this was just a random color one. I had eight color options. I got purple. Purple, not bad. Uh, it was $2. It does come with a keychain detached, so you can attach it yourself if you want. Not bad. Not bad pops at all. They're not like the easiest pops, but they're also not bad. They're pretty soft. I'll give it like a seven. It's not bad. It's pretty, pretty standard. Like, pretty standard. We've got a little paw print popper. I think this glows in the dark. Oh no, I lost it. Okay. This is luminous. I don't know if it actually glows in the dark. This was a dollar. It also comes with a keychain. Mm, this one feels a little bit stiffer, but look at how cute it is. Those are some soft pops. I like that. This is pretty cool. Also, this one's like a little bit bigger than these ones. Thinks nice. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I'll give that one another seven. Pretty basic. Although if it does glow in the dark, it gets like a nine. Oh, this. Okay, I thought this was going to be soft. It is not soft. It was two dollars. It's a push pop bubble game. Now I was really confused. I thought it was gonna be soft. It's like hard. 
if I'm correct, this is like whack-a-mole. Yeah. Okay, that, that's kind of cool. This was a, wait, did I say this was a dollar? Oh, this was two dollars. Two dollars, I mean, it feels really cheap, and like, hopefully it won't break, but this is fun. I mean, like, this one's an actual, like, game. I'm gonna give this, like, I don't know, like, a nine out of 10, because this one's like a full on game. You can just, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it because it does like feel really cheap as you guys can probably hear but like okay anyway moving on okay so this <laughs> I didn't know was like a purse I thought it was just like on a bracelet sort of thing I didn't think that this was like a purse it just says one piece random color push pop bubble. So I could have gotten like pink or black or purple or gray and I got yellow. I guess that's fine. Oh, that's so cute. I forgot about this. It has like rainbow written on it. Um, I can use this to hold my other poppets. <laughs> Okay, I don't I don't like this so much. Unless you put something like hard in it, it's kind of hard to pop the bubbles. Could use it to store my other ones. So as a purse keychain, this gets like an eight out of ten. As a pop it, it gets a 1 out of 10 because I don't like it. This was $4? I paid $4 for this. And it's my least favorite thing so far. Oh, okay. We've got a little ice cream popper toy. This was one of the random ones. Um, blue is not bad. I would have preferred the pink one. This was $3. So this one's a little bit more expensive too. Just for being like one thing. Okay, not bad. Let's hold it. So this is kind of like the one that I take to work now, except these little poppers are really small. The one I take to work now has like a really stiff side and then like a really easy pop side. That's just like the one I take to work and I sit there and do this in my pockets. <laughs> This is, this is not bad. I hate how small it is, although it almost kind of works for my nails, how small it is. It's like easy to push in with my nails. But um, yeah, there's nothing really to hold on to. Like if you're just, cause I like to sit there with my one at work like this with one hand. Moving on. Oh, I'm gonna give this, if I didn't already rate it, which I don't think I did, like a six. It's not bad, but like the little poppers are really small. <gasps> I'm so excited for one of these. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Okay, this was $2 as a push pop bubble fidget keychain. They basically all say the exact same thing. What can you do? It's like a squishy ball. Okay, but you like push in these. And if I can do it carefully enough, and then you like, you push in a bunch of them. You can get like a multi-pop. My goal is to push in like every single one of these. Okay, that's fun. That's really fun. I think I could have a lot of fun with this. Just like trying to push them all in. Ew. Ew. 
Okay, so this one was going to get an 8, but because of the smell and the three seams, I'm going to knock it down to a 5 because that smell is bad. It's like a really bad plastic smell that makes me want to go wash my hands immediately, but just in case any of the other ones have that, we're going to continue on. Oh, okay. So you guys probably know what this is from like TikTok. Um, this obviously isn't like the one-off TikTok. It's a really cheap version of like an anxiety ring. This was $2. It just says flower detail ring, but it's one of those like spinny rings. Do that and then you can like I don't see how this is relaxing, but also it's really cheap and I can feel and hear how cheap it is. I don't know, can you guys feel, or can you guys hear how cheap it sounds? It's not bad, and it does fit my thumb okay. I mean, I don't know what size this is. Probably, like, if it fits my thumb, probably like a six or seven or something. I'll give it like a six because at least it works. Like, it does spin around. It sounds really cheap but that's okay it was cheap okay I don't know about this this is a little peanut thing this is what it looks like <laughs> and then you just it's not it's not as soft as I thought it was gonna be I thought this was gonna be like soft and like squishy and it's not like these things are hard plastic and this is like a hard rubbery plastic although it is fun but it's kind of hard to squeeze ah uh, I'll give it like a seven. Oh, a little pink avocado I forgot about this one so the little pink avocado, this one I did, like I picked the color, uh, specifically picked pink. This was a dollar and it's all like soft, like a keychain. Aww. Well that's just a little sad. It has no pop sound. I mean, it's super adorable, like super adorable, but it has no pop sound. Like these little bubbles are, well, there's not a good pop sound. Um, it's cute and it is fun to play with, but it doesn't have a pop sound, which makes me sad because like these are just really squishy. Um, so I'll just, I'll give it a six. Give it a six. It's not terrible. It's really, really cute, but it's just not that great. Okay, I feel like I've been tricked with this octopus. I'm going to tell you that right now. So the octopus was $3. And why I think I've been tricked, uh, this is what it looks like on Shein's website. This is what I got. This is super cute. This looks like it's just all purple. I was supposed to be purple and then like rainbow. Okay, I don't like this. Look at that. It looks nothing like the picture. I'm gonna give this a two. Ooh, we've got a hand stretchy thing. Okay, these are silicone and finger stretchy rings. I could have gotten blue or black, but I got freaking orange. This was two dollars. So stick your fingers in the little rings. Then you like, oh my God, that's not fun. That is not fun. It does not stretch, like, big. Ah. That's a workout. <laughs> That's 
not fun. Nope, I don't like that. That is not fun at all. It's like so hard to stretch. I thought it was gonna be like nice and stretchy. It's like not. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a three. All right, so this was a dollar. This is a pea squeeze toy. So it's like the, it, okay. Interesting. It's just like the peanut one, but they're like little peas. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think there is some kind of like oil or something on this. But, um, this is the pea toy. That's basically just it. You just squeeze out these little, little guys. Ah, this one's better than the peanut one. Like, it's a little bit easier, and like, it looks a lot cuter. Like, if I took this with me, I think it wouldn't be questioned why I have a pea keychain. I think it'd be like, oh, that's such a cute little pea keychain. Um, I'll give this one a six. Last but not least, the like actual big fidget toy. Um, this is just a donut one. I don't know if I knew I was getting like a random color. I think I thought I was getting the rainbow one. It does say, okay, it does say random color. Those were my color options. I would have liked to have had like this one or the rainbow one, but in the picture, the rainbow one's what caught my, caught my eye. So I don't know if I like really thought about it. I just got it and it's $4, which $4, that's pretty standard for one like this size. Like, you can get these at, like, five below and stuff. It feels nice, squishy. Ooh, and they're easy to pop on the other side. I like when you can, like, barely touch them and they pop out. Okay, this one's not bad. Um, I don't love the color scheme that much, but it's not bad. It feels a little soft, but I could definitely play with this one. I think in total I spent like $30 on all these little fidget toys, and like most of them I'm probably still going to play with after this, so this one does have a slight weird plasticky smell. But um, yeah, I'll give this... A seven or it's an eight yeah an eight um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you liked it if you like little poppet toys and you wanted to know which ones to get off of Shein and which ones to avoid off Shein I hope this was helpful um yeah which one was your guys favorite let me know down below are you gonna buy any of these have you bought any of these I know I'm a child but it's fine it's fine I have a lot of fun with these so yeah I'm just growing my collection of fidget toys and then I'm gonna become super popular on TikTok doing fidget toy things. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!